Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about the Web Viewer 2. Yeah, a library to uh, embed website, I guess, inside the WPF. Pretty sure that's a good description. Anyway, uh, I'm using that uh, library to uh, embed uh, my, my website in, in a Dockable panel inside Revit. And let's talk about that and the issues uh, about this library. So in version 25, everything seems to work pretty good, I guess. Yeah, in other versions, uh, there's some issues. But uh, first of all, uh, I have this plugin, basically, that's going to uh, open that. And I can open basically a view that's the same thing. And I can, let's open this, and I can change the website, like uh, account.com, yep. And this should update both. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. It's simple. You can open any site you you want in here. And this should work. And I can uh, log out in here. That's just a sample. Just to log in and log out uh, with the Autodesk account. So yeah. And that's basically it. It's simple. Uh, in version 25, I think it works pretty great. Uh, by default, in Revit 25 and 24, as well uh, these libraries is already inside Revit I didn't know that before I was looking but if I search here web uh, view 2 um, I have basically these two uh, assemblies inside the main Revit 25 uh, folder yeah that's kind of interesting and yeah if I'm using a different version this probably gonna trigger before so yeah that's one thing you need to take a look if you're using this in version 24 uh that is a different version in that as well and uh dockable works pretty okay in that but let's open that and uh show uh sometimes i don't know if I'm, my sample is missing something uh but sometimes if i close uh rabbit uh, I have some crash when Revit finished to close for some reason. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting to clean something, I don't know, or some bug in that. It's not so reliable. So yeah, in version 25 is pretty good. So yeah, and in 24 kind of works well, as I guess. So if I open this, uh, Dockable works fine. Uh, so let's wait this to finish to open and yeah the same thing the same sample it's just basically the same plugin so i can open a, a view as well and i can add another website if i want uh, i can open close dockable and if i go in here and take a look of the version uh web view sure yeah, is this the ver? I open the same version. No, I'm pretty sure it's a different version. But yeah, uh, so yeah, that's basically it. And if I close this rabbit, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a a crash. So yeah, I'm gonna open version twenty one just to show what is working in that. Uh, in this case, just I don't have that crash. But yeah. I know in other versions uh, that happen for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so let's open version 21 and just show. I disable Dockable because I was not able to make work. I don't know if it's missing something, but yeah, uh, I disable that. And only the, the window sample is working. So yeah, if I open here, I can open the page, the same thing gonna happen. Let's add uh, let's add a different stuff in here. Let's copy this. This link and uh, yeah, let's open here. And this should open the private forum. Uh, yep. So everything looks like it's working. Uh, and this uh, is related to the web view too. And when you update uh, a model and the Revit show that uh, 
that message that you, you need to update the model or something like that. Uh, this say that the web view uh, freeze or something like that. I was not able to replicate the issue, but I don't know if it's related to the, the website or something. Uh, let's try to open here just to show uh, families. Uh, or I cannot find my project. Yeah, let's try to open this one. And this, everything is working fine. I don't know if something is related to the web view or the website. Anyway, uh, that's what I want to show in this video, basically. This sample, I'm gonna put that, uh, here's the project, I'm gonna put this in the in my GitHub and I'm gonna share this video as well in that. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.